Hey everyone, it's Teresa Sheridan from Teresa Sheridan Designs. In, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to embed a PDF flipping book on your website. So as business owners and website owners, we often want to provide our customers with a free PDF download or not free, whichever. And um, in the past, we just simply um, upload the media to our website and insert it as media and people can either download it or open it in a new tab and read it on their computer screen. And that works great. People have to scroll through the documents, um, which, you know, is there's nothing wrong with that. But um, there's always a way, a better way. So I found this free WordPress plugin that will let you do this really easily and it looks great. So this is on my website. This is the a new ebook that I am offering to people that opt in on my email list. And uh, you can see you can scroll from one page to the next. It looks really cool and you, sim you don't have to do anything but upload your PDF file. So I will show you really quickly how we get this done. The first thing you're going to do is go to the plugins area on your WordPress site and you're going to install the plugin. It's called 3D Flipbook Light Edition. There is a Pro Edition, which I have not used. You would click Add New to add your new plugin. Search for the plugin that you want. And when it shows up here, since I already have it installed, it needs an update, but you would just click the Install Now button. And then after it's installed, you will see a blue Activate button here, which you would click to activate the plugin. Once you've done that, you will see over here in your navigation a new item called 3D Flipbook. So basically, there's a couple different ways to add these flipbooks to your website. So if you want to add it as its own post, it basically is creating a custom WordPress loop for these posts. So it's just like a blog post, um, but it's, um, it's its own custom post. And here you would put in the title of your PDF document, and here you would put the source. So to add the PDF file to the page here, simply click select PDF and it will take you to all the PDF files that are uploaded on your website. Select this, click open and it inserts the URL in here and you can see the thumbnail image of your item. And this will be whatever the front, the first page of your PDF file is. So if you want to preview this, And you can see it's embedded on the page here. The, the issue with in using it in this format is that it is very large because it's basically using up the full screen, the full width of your screen. So this works for some people. Um, this is a zooming mechanism used simply by using the wheel of your mouse. This works for some people. Um, I don't care to have it this big, but depending on the template of your site, this might work for you. But if this is not what you want, there's another way. So if you want to not use the custom post option here, you can simply use a, uh, just uh, start a new page and you put your title of your, uh, your PDF file here. And then there's a handy little tool in your, in your toolbar where you can insert the 3D flipbook here. And it will give you a short code. So uh, you would select the PDF URL and then you would head on over to your media library where you've uploaded your ebook to your media library. You would select it and copy and paste the URL into this box here. 
click OK. And you can see it inserts the short code there. It, I duplicated it because I already had it on my page, but that's, it'll insert the short code here for you. And what, what it will do, though, is use, as far as it's concerned, the full width in this case is the width of your template. And in my case, on my website, my template has a center container here, which you can't see because I don't have the, it's styled so that it's obvious that I have a center container. But because I do, this flipbook will then fill up the full width of that container. So this works a lot better for me. I prefer this option. And um, the, um, this white bar at the bottom gives your readers some options. They can download it, they can print it, uh, whatever they want to do with it. And they can scroll page to page here or here. Or they can zoom simply by using the wheel on their mouse. So this is a really handy way to embed a PDF document into your website where it just has a little bit more dynamic look and feel to it. And um, I hope that uh, you get a chance to take advantage of it. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you next time.